Greetings friends, it's Olangsor again and first of all I have to I not really apologize but I know some people have come forth and said they hate that I use the light mode on everything including Discord and YouTube because they're being flashed when they watch my videos. I'm sorry not sorry. I like the light mode better. I enjoy it much better. I know if it's all dark in your room this is bad for your eyes, I get it, but it shouldn't be that dark in your room, gentlemen. Right? That should not be the case. Anyway, to the video. I recently posted a video, this one, over here, When you, uh, what you guys want to see coming to Last Epoch, and I was going over a Discord post. It was actually the exact video where, the, where also was, I was called out for, for the light mode. And um, went over the things we want to see in campaign, so um, I'm going to link it below if you want to see the original, but then uh, asked for more, what you guys actually want. And there were a bunch of very interesting comments, especially this one, I want to go over a bunch of them, um, and see what's actually coming as far as we know, and what's not coming, etc. So the first thing, Julian Brul, Brulionat5590, sorry if I botched that name, so we can make this a little bit bigger. There it is. Actually, much bigger, how about that? I wish I could turn off the sidebar, but whatever. It's been years with no end to the story, I'm kind of tired of waiting. That is true, it's actually taking them very long to finish the story, I mean there's still three more chapters to come, apparently. And just get to it, man. Just get it over with. I mean, next, uh, in three to four months, we will be getting a next chapter, but like the ancient era chapter. But the funny thing is, this is just this one chapter. And I just wonder, is it just going to be the one chapter? Because apparently we get 12. But it's just going to be one chapter in that, apparently. Or will they be throwing all of the new chapters in this? What's happening? I hope that it actually finishes the campaign finally with the next season. I doubt it, but it would be really good if we finally are done with the story. Right? Time travelers are underexploited anymore. I think he means underexplored. Um, yeah, time travel. The fact that the, that Last Epoch has time travel and is not using it very much, other than in the Temporal Sanctum dungeon, is pretty much the only one, and a little bit in the campaign, um, feels bad. There should be way more mechanics you can actually use. In the end game, for example, where you can use time travel. I mean, you technically do it all the time because you're running through echoes. I get it, but where you can actively use it, like with skills or whatever. That's cool. This is very true. Gender lock is a shame in 2024. Yep, that is true. You should have. I hope with 1.4, they bring in transmog. So I hope they will also bring in um, both genders for the classes. So you can choose. That would be cool. I don't know if it will be happening, but uh, yeah. I mean, this is really, really painful. Do not have that. Characters animations are clunky sometimes. I have not really felt that personally. Um, didn't look too bad to me, but if this is his reaction, totally fine. Lack of weapon variety. I mean, yeah, it's kind of true. I mean, they have been talking about many, many times over that they want to add like crossbows or um, what was it? Dual wielding uh, crossbows, for example, or stuff like that, so, like the crazy stuff. We now for the first time have a dual wielding shield, so even though this was basically cheated because that shield just counts as an axe, so it's not a new category that you can actually dual wield shields. But yeah, for this one build, for this one item, you can do it. So um, there's more coming, I'm sure. There's way more coming with this, <laughs> you gotta wait, I'm sorry. Two-handed weapons are too weak versus dual wield or one-handed plus X. That is... 100% true, and I hate it, but this is true in any ARPG really. You guys tell me in the comments if you know any ARPG where two-handed weapons are actually good, so you would use them over a one-hander and a off-hand. I can say the same in Diablo 4, I have not found a good two-hander, except maybe the fireball one. Like if it's a unique that really, really overpowers your build, then sure. But in most cases, in most cases in these games, you are, it seems like you're still better off running a one-hander, because look at it this way. If you run a one-hander and an off-hand, you will have four, on Diablo even six with tempering, six more affixes, uh, it's not right, it's five, five more affixes on that off-hand that you don't have with a two-hander. So the two-hander always needs to be way stronger to make up for these affixes you lose. And it's just not really happening in the games. We definitely need a transmogrification system, some armors are vomitable. <laughs> that is true, some, some of them look really bad, really bad. Um, but yeah, that is coming, 1.4, which is, by the way, 1.4 is about a year from now, when this will happening, be happening. 
So one more year at least before the core game is even finished. That's kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, it is coming. But uh, yeah, also while you add it, gentlemen, while you do the transmogrification system, make the skins better, please. They suck. I'm sorry to say it like that, but the skins. I want to pay money. I want to throw money at Last Epoch, but the skins are just not worth buying them. Some are good, but most of them are just not good looking. I'm sorry, it's just just not. Okay, oh, that's what he actually said after that. Okay, cash items are terribly awful. I agree. They do not look good whatsoever. Customizable cursor? Yes. I literally literally lost mine every time there are too many things at the screen. That is true. I lose my, my cursor all the time in Last Epoch. All the time. It's just, just vanished. But that needs to change, for sure. Uh, more character voices. I'm not a man of many pockets. <laughs> yeah, I can you actually turn this voice off because it's annoying. Um, at least make it so you can turn it off. That would be great. But yeah, also more of that. I mean, this is not really a big thing, but yes, it's very annoying. Water maps, I don't know what he means with that. I guess on like a beach or something. It's true, we don't really have that. Yeah, that's right. Rework of cinematics, the one where Raye kills Hero Dot. Hero Dot? Hero Dot? It's so bad, it looks like 2000s game cinematic. Oh yeah, that is true. That looks really bad. Yeah, yeah. When, when he shoots the flames on this guy with a shield, that looks really bad. It's true. A fucking respec all button to avoid spending three minutes clicking 105 times to change your build. Oh boy. Big one. Big one. Or system for removing skill points by right clicking without confirmation. Yes, respecking is really bad in Last Epoch, that's true. Um, yeah, especially when you have uh, in your in your tree, sort of at the, the left side, you want to respec one part of it, or like one skill, then you have to respec all of it. To even do that which is very annoying very very annoying also very expensive but if that's the way then at least give me the ability to respec it all at once so i can put it all back in again dual weapon spec dual weapon spec to switch an affiliated skill example bow first and deck a second and a real time switch with puncture oh i know what you mean you basically wield a bow and a dagger and you can sort of switch um at every time what you won't deal damage with right now okay that's cool i like this idea yeah i'm sure this is coming but maybe not in the next year because again right now the first year they are still mostly doing core game basically getting out of beta less epoch let's be honest is still in beta even though it's a full 1.0 release it's still in beta the core things are not in the game yet more defensive skills It's true, there's not many defensive skills, actually, yeah. I think it's not just defensive skills. I think that defenses should generally be overworked. It's unnecessarily complicated in my eyes to actually build defenses for your characters. Um, except going for ward. Ward is the obvious one. You just throw in thousands of ward and you're good. Um, but if you want to do parry or if you want to do endurance, it's needlessly complicated in my eyes. This could be done easier. A real multiplayer mode. I guess what he means is that you, if you play in a party, that it actually works properly, because right now it doesn't. I think this is also something that has been unnecessarily made complicated with these, um, what are they called? These items you get, so you can actually trade items with your party. This is unnecessarily complicated. Why even have, I mean, I guess it is, you cannot just get the, the insane items to your friend, because this can be abused, I get it. But really, this just makes multiplayer really bad in this game, honestly. It is in a very bad state. Real support builds for multiplayer to make it worth to play with others and not just seeing 8,000 message a day in the chat. Can someone power level for me free, please? Yeah, it's true. And that would be cool, yeah. The Paladin has one build, I believe, which is a real support build, but um, you gotta fix the multiplayer first before you can do this. A tamer class that can tame certain mobs. I think what he means is that you can actually, like the Necromancer in Path of Exile, that you can sort of steal the mobs. You pacify them so they follow you and attack for you instead of attacking you. Um, that would be cool. PoE2 is bringing that. Um, so you can basically just steal the other mobs and use them for your own good. That is a great class. All elements available for each skill. Yeah, that's a big one. Um, some and I would actually start first before we go to that each class has all the elements and it's actually not going to happen because they said before that the primalist will most likely never get void damage because it just doesn't make sense on the theme level um 
But before we even go there, getting all elements for all classes or for each skill or whatever, um, the first thing would be that they fix that when you switch damage types for a skill, that it actually works properly in the sense of it gets all the resistances, uh, resistance shred, it gets all the resistances, it gets the damage over time properly because this is still not working properly. Unless Epoch still has the problem, if you switch a damage type, it's always worse than the original one the skill was designed for. So it's literally no point in doing that, switching, other than just for fun build. So they really gotta, gotta make this better. And housing or base management, 100% agree. Path of Exile just showed us how well this can be done. Uh, if you can build your own damn town, I definitely want to see this in a game like um, Let's Epoch or Diablo. If you can build your own town or even do shipping, maybe not even shipping. Uh, time travel, for example. What if they would use in Last Epoch that you, ha you build your house, but you're not doing shipping to ship things out. You send, I don't know, your, your people through space and time so they go back in time and then farm echoes for you and then come back into the current time frame for example that would fit perfectly you don't need shipping for that just build a time machine or whatever the fuck i don't know something like that so there was also a cap fact over here i saw this um i'm going to make a totally d4 post but bear with me as i think this game has the same problem okay diablo 4 had a great season 4 i enjoyed playing the game out of beta they recently released season 5 though honestly i have no interest in it I think the big issue is the game pretty much plays the same way and I got what I wanted out of Season 4, making 4 characters. Like, it needs to be a new area or something, or we'll just grind hell tides and then do some badly made Nightbird dungeons. There needs to be content and good meta changes that put the top specs under and the low specs up. <laughs> now, early, I feel the same specs have been on top too long. It's true. They need to be nerfed so people play different ones. I also like feel like Diablo. All I do is Echoes. They really don't play much differently from Lee's. So they did up mob density this last patch, it seems. Yeah. I don't know, Psycho's Immo should be better, te better test time and there should be something about the game that's really different. And they get it from Season 5 and Diablo and I'm not sure things would be different in Psycho 2 of this game either. I actually agree with this. I understand when people have been playing Diablo... Actually, let's keep it at Last Epoch, because this is a Last Epoch video. The only thing you really do in Last Epoch, once you got your build to like level 60 or 70, is... Even way before that, no, it's not true, you start at 50 or something. You do echoes, right? Echoes, 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 echoes. The monoliths, echoes. This is all you do, and it's just repetitive as hell. You do the same things over and over again. There is no mechanics. Even the Nemesis system is a nice addition, but it's not really a different playstyle. So, this is why I'm saying, again, the game is still in beta. This will change as soon as the game is out of beta. Beta, 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 beta. In like a year when they actually add new content, proper new content, right? Which is not sort of the core game. Diablo 4 is right now also with Season 5 at this stage. Season 5 was mostly a balance patch, really, because they reworked all the uniques. So it's mostly balancing and they actually made the items good. Now Diablo 4 is in a state where it is a good game, the core game is sort of settled, I think, personally, and now they can look into adding new content that is cool and fun to play. Before that, they couldn't really do this because they were busy fixing the game. And Last Epoch is in the same state. So, um, and it's the same for me. I played Last Epoch for like two weeks in the new cycle. I made a bunch of builds and haven't even made the videos about it much. And then I moved straight to Diablo 4 now, again. Because it's just boring. It's the same thing. The Harbingers were cool, but it's still the same thing. So, they need to add new things. Right, new content. And this will definitely be coming after the core game is fixed. I don't know if much new content will be coming in between that. I mean, the new campaign for sure, or new parts of the campaign. That's going to be interesting for like a few days and then that's done again. Something like the base management system, for example, in um, Path of Exile, that is something you can play for way longer, right? That can keep you playing way longer because you actually have a lot to do and micromanage all of this. And some people enjoy just that. That's like your Eno games. So a mechanic like this, that it really keeps you in the game for longer periods of time. Very powerful. So I totally agree with this. Um, it's the same style. It's always the same. So that, of course, gets a little bit annoying or like boring over time. If they would just fix blessing so I didn't have to kill the same boss 20 plus times and still not be able to get the damn blessing I need. 
Blessings are fundamental to the functionality of all builds. Putting them behind the BS time sync sucks. 100% blessings need a change. I think it's good that they actually now added the ability to choose your blessings. But they only missed the mark ever so slightly. Because I think it's absolutely stupid that you can choose the blessings from your other characters you played on this realm. But only the low roll. I mean, come on. Just give me at least the role that this person played, like the other character got. It doesn't have to be the max role, obviously, but the low role, I mean, come on. That's just, in this case, I might not even use that blessing because it's mostly pointless. Yeah, just ever so slightly missed the mark there. I also think, and I don't know why this is the case at all, why not, when you kill a boss, show me all the blessings that boss can give you. What is it, like nine or something or ten? I don't even know how many they give. Show all of them, but they have different roles in, in height. So you don't just get everything with one boss kill. You still, if you want to max it out, you got to kill the boss more often. But at least you can choose the blessings you actually want. And it's not completely random. I think he also said that he played into... Um, he played into like 600 corruption, killed the boss a billion times, and still didn't get the blessing he wanted from the boss. And that just feels bad. It's just a very feels bad moment. And you don't want to have feels bad moments uh, in your game. Um, also, this guy was correct. Uh, he doesn't care about character customization, that's fine. Uh, and any politics, yeah, I mean, but that's just what it is these days. You need to do idle crafting, decrafting, and agree on the soft capping at XP. Yeah, I said in the video that I think it's absolutely stupid that the experience is soft capped at 95, because as soon as you hit 95, getting to 100 is massively longer than getting to 95. And I don't know why. Why is, why is this in the game? What's so wrong about getting to level 100? Why is this uh, such a big deal? I don't understand. Anyway, uh, idle crafting. Yeah, this uh, will be coming. We don't know how exactly they will be doing, but they did say that idle crafting is coming. Idles need a lot of work, because right now you find a lot of bullshit idles you will never need. And this is a little bit annoying, obviously. So this definitely needs a fix. Um, I don't know exactly how they will be doing it, but yeah. So. I think we can actually gr great mentions here uh, guys thank you very much for all that this was a great list uh, lots of things last book needs to change let me know what you think of it do you really think that most of these things are correct do you think last book is in a very bad set do you think it's in a good set it just needs more time what do you think of the game right now as it is and i will see you guys in the next video